All right, with head coach Joe Golding, uh, how does this look, coach? Pretty good, isn't it? That's yeah, awesome, isn't it? Huh? Yeah, not bad. All right, let's see this floor burn first and foremost. Yeah. Uh, Seth, can you get a close up of this? Tell us what happened. A little, little hustle drill. You know, the, the guys challenged me out. You know, we, uh, we, we are who we are. We're not changing, man. We did a little shell drill, a little hustle drill. Um, I haven't had to do it. I, I've put our assistants in it all year long and our managers, uh, some different people, just to try to encourage our guys and get our guys going. Today they called me out, man, and I couldn't turn it down for what they've done for me. All right, let's talk. We just had, a, what, 45 minutes or so out there. What was it like out there in the gym? First time to see it. <laughs> In, in fact, in, no, well, I was, I was going to say, uh, you did pretty well at another gym that you'd never seen before, Katie, in the Maryland yeah. Center last week. You know what? I, I think this was, for me, Grant, went, went out to it's real. I, I think that's when you figured out all of a sudden you walked out there, this is real, this is happening, man. And I hope that's what our guys felt, uh, that this is real, you know. And so uh, this is not some dream that they're living. That's what I, when I sent that tweet a couple of days, it's not a dream, man. This is it, man. We're in it. And it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and you're trying to embrace it. So uh, it was fun. I love watching the smiles and the looks on our guys' faces and uh, just trying to take as many mental picks as I can, like I told you, uh, to, to enjoy the, the ride and the journey. One last thing here. Uh, some would say you got to block out the distractions, but, but there's some level of distraction you want them to embrace, right? I mean, to, to see it all it's on some level. because it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for our level. Yeah. This doesn't happen very often, you know, and so you want these guys to enjoy every moment. Uh, what, I don't, what I do want them to get off is Twitter and all the, yeah. all the media stuff and stay focused on this stay focused on the Kentucky game and stay focused on the, the madness you know of this uh, we, we they'll have time uh, for all that other stuff later and that's you know unfortunately and fortunately as we know in social media it ain't going anywhere right. it's going to still be there so I think that that's the biggest key for us was hey turn your phones off get focused on uh, get focused on basketball and get focused on the madness of the NCAA tournament and, and the rest of the day what's going to happen <coughs> excuse me again uh, we're gonna go practice. We're gonna go work out. Uh, you know, obviously we got a lot. We got some stuff done today, but we got to go do some prep on Kentucky. We'll get back in the film room, uh, although that's not gonna change. Kentucky is who they are, uh, and uh, you know that's uh, that's the unfortunate thing about this. They're, they got a, a legit chance to win the national championship. They're one of the top teams in the country. Um, they got one of the national seeds. You know, being a two seed, um, so. We've got a lot of work to do and prep to do, again, to continue to give our guys the best chance they can tomorrow night uh, to compete. ACU versus Kentucky on Thursday night at 710 Eastern, 610 Central.